was kind of exciting. Kind of scary. I can say that now. But I don't recall. I mean, I was only 19, 20 years old. But I can't recall ever being afraid. It was... It was a, you get the shakes maybe after it was all over, but uh, it was so damn busy. Uh, it, you didn't have time to get scared. <laughs> I think that probably happens to anybody fighting. And is that, like you said, you got the shakes afterwards? Was that more of a, an adrenaline rush and then just being trained to, to do what you do and being it, focused on that? You described it exactly. It's just about the way it came out. Uh, when it was all over and everything, uh, when I got a, everything quieted down and it got dark and I went into my, jumped in my sack, I slept like a baby <laughs> until the next time we started fighting. <laughs> Just, just, when you're out there so damn long and so much of it going on day in and day out, uh, you're not you're not being a hero. You're just doing what you're supposed to do: eat the banana, pull the lever. <laughs> That's the way we used to describe it. And you had mentioned that the uh, Japanese air attacks came during the day as well as in the evening. Well, more times than not, it was daytime. Yeah, and uh, they and they were all suicides. They had their funeral before they'd get in the airplane. We found out at the end of the war. The kamikazes was their, their biggest battle uh, item that they had going. It wasn't a battleship shooting a big 16-inch shell or anything. It was those uh, suicide bombers. Uh, they just wiped. They knew when they crawled in that airplane that they were going to be dead. And then, talking about that, did you witness uh, hits on the aircraft carriers at that point in time where the uh, kamikazes made their mark? Well, the kamikazes were always after the aircraft carriers, but that didn't, uh, that didn't stop them going after some of the others, too, because the fleet was always, the, as I said, the carriers in the middle, battleships, and then the cruise, cruisers, and then destroyers. So when they would come in, uh, maybe 75 or 100 of them, like flies around a horse turd <laughs> all over the place they'd shoot anything that was moving so but uh, they were always really after the carriers if they could get a bomb on a carrier but that was the ones that uh, took them in <laughs> <laughs>